Do you want to replace fossil fuel with a clean, cheap, and sustainable source of energy to stop global warming? If yes, please follow me, let's start in minutes. Global warming is the long-term rise in the average temperature of the Earth's climate system. This phenomenon is the result of emission of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. While the population increases, demand for a cheap source of energy such as fossil fuel source and global warming triggers, leading to devastating environmental impacts. To solve this problem? We can use water, no? As a cheap source of energy which have been used over a billion years by plants. In plants, light is harvested to produce carbohydrates and oxygen from CO2. But this process cannot happen in absence of water, which provides proton and electron by water oxidation reaction. The produced proton can be used for hydrogen gas production as a clean source of energy. Now, I would like to show you how water molecule coordinates to one of the best man-made water oxidation catalysts and low oxidation state in order to produce proton as a clean and cheap source of energy. Some cases of ruthenium complexes named RubyDA have catalytic activity which is comparable to green plants. The ruthenium 2 is expected to be octahedral, so when aqua coordinates to metal center, a carboxylic group must decoordinate, or ruthenium nitrogen bonds create frustrated coordination sites. But which will be the case? To understand this, we have prepared a RubyDA complex which is soluble in water. LMR spectra are shown after adding different percentage of acidic aqua solution to metal solution of the complex, the LMR peaks become broad. By decreasing temperature, the peaks become sharp again. So what is the structure of this diamagnetic complex? DFT calculation confirmed a hydrogen bonded system around the ruthenium center is the structure of this diamagnetic complex at low temperature. Moreover, EPR confirmed before purging oxygen in aqua solution, the complex is EPR silent, but after purging oxygen, the complex showed EPR signals. There is a combination of equilibria involved in dynamic behavior of RubyDA complexes in aqueous solution. All these species exist in solution with different activation energy. That's why we see broad peak in NMR. In conclusion, for the first time, we showed how complex adopt aqua in its structure at low oxidation state, and we cover up the first step of the mechanism of the reaction.